Hello athletes, Coach Corey here to talk the ever fun topic of running shoes. Now, full disclosure, I do work in one of our local, which is also a nationwide running store. So when I say this, one, not trying to like generate sales for doing that, but two, I give a perspective here of training. So this being said, you want to go to a store where they can assess your true size, arch height, different things like that. Having There's no such thing as too much information when it comes to our own bodies. So knowing uh, what size your foot is and then adding at least like half a size bigger because your feet are going to swell when you're on them all day whether it's walking or running to know the proper size shoe you are, to know if you need a wide shoe, um, to know if your archers are rigid or flexible so that's going to tell you what kind of cushion is probably going to work best for you as far as a more uh, sturdy cushion or like a marshmallow type cushion. Also, you know, you definitely want to get yourself a daily trainer, something that's going to last you three to 500 miles. That varies per person. But the nice thing is in today's world, um, there's everything from super trainers. There's, there's so many options and choices you have. So cushion wise, you want to go with what feels good for you. And I say this because I see a lot of people like, oh, my friend suggests this, blah, 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 because our feet are all different. Our feet are different from each other, much less other people. So go in, try some stuff on, see how it feels. Uh, rotating shoes, I get that a lot. You don't necessarily have to have more than one pair, but the nice thing about having more than one pair, especially if you get one that's more cushioned and the other has more of a ground feel to it, you can alternate building up the muscles in your legs and in your feet a little bit stronger. But also, personally, I like a more cushion shoe for longer runs or slower runs. I like to have more of a ground feel when I'm doing speed work. But everybody's different. Don't let someone tell you what you have to get. Go in and do these things. Um, the, the buzzword now is carbon plated shoes. Uh, I'm blessed because of the job with a lot of shoes, a lot of running shoes. And I do have some carbon plated shoes I like to race in. Carbon plated shoes are designed to race in because they're not going to last as long because of that carbon plate. So you may only get like 200, 250 miles out of a carbon plated shoe, but for most people, that's like one to two years worth of races when you're thinking of it that way. It's not necessarily the shoe you want to do your daily training run in. It's not built for that. It's built to get you to increase that cadence and keep you going. But again, it is also not necessary at all. So go into a store, find out your true size, your gait, different things like that. Then find the shoes that just feel best. Um, I'm a firm believer that just like with clothing, when you're in the stuff that you enjoy being in, you're not only more excited about running, but you're actually in a hurry to go run because you're excited about what you have. So I hope that helps to clear some stuff up. If you have any questions, always let me know. You guys stay blessed. And remember, Queen Running Company, empower your pace.